see if there's some more under here. This mess from a, probably back in the 80s, 1980s or something. But that's what I'm doing. It's getting the creek nasty. I'm trying to get over here, so. Actually, I need to take these out. One, two, three, and leave those cedars. It's finally dried out enough to yeah, I'm gonna scratch around in here so you can kind of keep an eye on if anything pops up. You know, throw it over there in that. I'm gonna leave that game trail right there, so throw all that metal over there. get it to where I can drive the machine down in there so I can get this stuff but I think if I get over here and clean all this up right through here I can just grab it and hand it out this way 
there's a little box hole or something right there. Well, this is a big old oak tree, too. Old. He's good hunting. I can hunt down that way and he's hunting up on this pool right here. That's the fence line down there. We'll just mainly get it cleaned out for now. Mm -hmm. There's some of that old tin you've been looking for. There's a bunch of it. And I'm gonna try to save them hay rings too. Try to get them out without damaging them. So. Thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, be on the lookout for the future video on us getting all this cleaned up back here, old snake pit, and getting all this old junk metal hauled off, uh, all those old tires, and gonna haul a lot of dirt back in here and build this back up because uh, it's leaking, that dam's leaking on that pond. All these trees are growing in it, so. But anyway, y'all be on the lookout for uh, cleaning up the back creek on the farm we appreciate y'all tuning in and have a blessed day peace out